11 month height Dinasa 2 raid swamp? Dino Dinasa 2 raid Dino. Um, what are you doing in my swamp? I wasn't muted. I just haven't used my microphone in a while. <laughs> so it didn't have it as a property. Um, I was gonna say some of you haven't heard my voice in a while, um, but then you didn't hear my voice because I was muted. So it was a win-win for you guys, wasn't it? A win-win. Let me know if I'm too loud now because it's coming up really loud for me. It's going like to the bread, so let me know. <laughs> um, I've forgotten how I do this. Like what is streaming? <laughs> Um, let me catch up on chat because I literally like came on here and then ran away to go to the loo quickly. Um, so let me catch up. Um, also, I'm a little bit ill today. Like my throat is just suddenly started hurting, um, which is annoying. So um, bear with me. <laughs> I 
Okay, let me catch up. Lily was first. That's amazing. Hi, Lily. Fox, welcome in and welcome to the early gang. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing okay. I'm really tired. <laughs> but like I have been for like all week, so. <laughs> this is like probably my least tired day this week, so. <laughs> um, is that, yeah, that is the top bit of my necklace, okay. Um, Blaze, welcome in. And thank you for the shout out, Stream Elements. Ahoy, ladies. Ahoy, Fox. Um, Jewel. Oh, lovely Jewel. How are you, my lovely early gang? Amazing. And Lily, I'm so glad that you're okay. Gibbs. Oh, welcome in, Gibbs. Welcome to the early gang. Blaze is part of the early gang. Love it. Fox, thank you so much for the sub. 11 month hype. Let's go. Oh my goodness. That's like so many. <laughs> and I'm glad that you're doing good as well. Um, clinic is amazing, except for the damn expensive Wi Fi isn't working right now. Ugh, that's so annoying. I hate it when you have to pay for Wi Fi and then it doesn't fucking work. I'm sorry, Jewel. Um, I'm glad that you're you're feeling okay though. Fox, thank you so much for gifting wow, a three month tier one sub to Blaze. Or bees, whatever. <laughs> Whatever my brain decides to say at the moment. That's so kind of you. Um, I still can't believe we're on a level two hype train. Um, what? <laughs> um, and I'm glad that you're doing good, Blaze. And Fox, thank you so much for the hundred um, bitties. I almost forgot. <laughs> Not me forgetting what bitties were for a second. <laughs> and we're so close to our 400 follower goal. That's kind of exciting too. Noi, welcome in, my lovely. How are you? Um, and thank you for the hundred um, bitties. I appreciate you so much. Oh no, Fox played a, a random, oh no, it was Discord sound. Okay, I was gonna say I missed what it was, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> um, Gibbs, thank you so much for this sub three months. Oh my goodness, what's going on? <laughs> That's so kind of you. Um, you got tricked, you got tricked by the Discord sound. I'm glad I wasn't here, cause that would have like completely got me. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you trolling us. <laughs> Fiona, welcome in, my lovely. How are you? And all these people saying I was muted. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I was. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at that emo. It's a cat. I love it. Ah, Solyndria. I'm at work, so I have to look. But I want to say welcome back. Happy 2023. Thank you so much. You're so, you're so sweet. Um, I'm sending you all the love, and I hope that work is nice. Um, and thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. I had an eight month streak message, but it disappeared. Oh, <laughs> I hate it when that happens. So don't worry, um, Lily, don't worry about it. Um, but eight months is amazing. I can't believe we've known each other like for so long, but also like for not that long, if that makes sense. Like, it feels like I've known you forever. Um, okay, everyone's saying hi. Joel, it's so nice to see you. It's so nice to see you in chat. Because uh, I really, I was gonna say it's nice to see you, but I can't see you. But also, we talk um, quite often anyway, and it's lovely, always lovely to see you, your name pop up. So thank you for being a lovely person. Um, Blaze says perfect. Thank you. Blaze is lovely, by the way. If you guys don't follow Blaze, well, don't follow Blaze. Follow Rose Cave, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Definitely follow. Follow her. She just hit her 500 follower goal as well. Like, what? Who is she? Can be me. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Blaze is tired too. Oh, bless you. I feel like we're all tired. Can we all just like make a fort or something, like a blanket fort, and just watch um, like films and play games? Like, can we do that, please? Um, please, <laughs> please. Um, no, I am so glad that you're good. Bless you. Um, choo choo, choo choo gives. <laughs> it makes total sense. I feel the same way. I'm so, like, Lily is, like, so lovely, you guys. So, obviously, I haven't been, um, streaming this year. <laughs> um, sounds great. It does, doesn't it? Blanket Fort sounds amazing. <laughs> Can we please? Um, but obviously, I have been still active in other places, like Discord and stuff, and it, and you guys have been so kind to me and so nice to me. Um, this whole time that I've been on my streaming break, I thought I was just gonna be like completely alone, like and isolated, cause I just sit in my room like every day and like streaming 
brought a little bit of like people into my life but um it's been so lovely in the discord just chilling with you guys like um even if it's just quiet quiet productivity or like we're watching a film um or like we're just like chatting about i don't know books or, or some mental health um thing we're talking about at the moment like it's been so lovely um and it's really helped me to not isolate myself so much because I tend to do that <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> um, also, did I share the cat? Look how cute that hype sleep one is. I want it. I have it. Yay. Um, I still can't believe it. You deserve all of those followers, Blaze. You um, are an amazing streamer. Um, Jewel, Jewel's joining our fort, perfect. Lily, Lily's part of this fort gang, amazing. Um, so I was going to stream tomorrow, but I've been invited out for lunch with um, a couple of family friends and um, my family. Uh, obviously. <laughs> um, some of my family as well. Um, so I'm going to be doing that tomorrow, um, which means I'm probably not going to get a chance to stream because when, by the time I get back, I think Blaze is streaming and I haven't caught Blaze's stream in a while because I've been depressed. Um, and I'd really just want to like chill and hang out with my friends um, in their streams. So um, I am cancelling my stream tomorrow um, because honestly I was going to stream beforehand but I was like no one's going to be awake and then I was like how awake am I going to be? <laughs> you know? Like so um, yeah I am uh, cancelling that uh, for tomorrow just so I can just chill with you guys instead because um, I think that would be fun. But I, I have lots of work to do. But maybe, maybe Tuesday we'll play games because Monday I am submitting my assignment and Tuesday is normally when I do a co-working stream. So maybe we can play games then instead or something. We'll just like, just, just be chill. I'm like trying to be more chill and go with the flow. It's not really in my nature, but we're trying. <laughs> oh, Fox Redeemed Light, one of my candles, your choice of candle. Okay, so it can be your choice of candle because I've already lit my favorite candle, which is... Christmas Eve cocoa because right I blame Kelly for this um so basically one day I decided to um do quiet productivity obviously I, I do that quite often but um I decided I was going to put my candle on and just like put my camera on my candle um I can show you No, I can't show you because the camera's not working, that's fine. Um, so I just had it like um, in the middle of my desk. And so like my camera, I have like a second camera like this. My, it was my old camera, so it's really shit quality. But if it's just on candle, doesn't that, does it? Well, it, I don't care anyway. <laughs> um, so I just had it on the candle for ages. Um, and then it's kind of like, have you guys seen those videos of like the fireplace where it, like crackles and stuff and it's like supposed to like help you like be productive. So I was like, that's kind of what it is, you know? And like my cat randomly like walking on the desk you know um so we did that and then the next day Ka um cassie cassie didn't ask me anything she's a cat she can't speak um kelly said oh can you do it again and i was like do you know what bet so i was in the quiet productivity earlier with um the lovely justine and i had my candle on so i have this lovely christmas eve cocoa don't come for me i know it's february i don't give a shit um <laughs> so I've got that one on already. Um, so if you would like to pick one, I can go through a couple of my favorites at the moment. Um, I'm quite happy to do that. Um, I will say this candle, lovely, lovely candle, gives me a headache. So, or should I say it doesn't help when you already have a headache? It's from uh, Morrison's, <laughs> if anybody wants it. <laughs> Which I don't think anybody will now that I've given it that glowing report um we also have oh this is a new one that i bought i bought it from sainsbury's but i think you can get it from <laughs> security tag um you can get it from like any supermarket well at least i think tesco's do it then um and it's called caramel crunch and my granny said it doesn't smell that nice um but she also doesn't like candles so what does she know but i like it um also they do one called bubble time which i bought for hannah for her birthday but i need to buy myself before valentine's day or I don't know I think it's the Valentine's Day one anyway and so I don't want to like miss out on that one because it smells really nice too I think I'm gonna like this one I've talked about it so much and I smell it now I want to light this one too I love having more than one candle lit as well good meowing oh my god wait no 
Meowning. There we go. Oh! Seraph? <laughs> Kit, go away. No, I'm joking. <gasps> Let's go! Oh no, my hype emoji doesn't work anymore. <laughs> um, welcome in readers. Um, thank you so much, Yappy Art Studio, for the raid. I appreciate you so much. Um, how was your stream? And welcome in everybody. Let me do some shout outs. It's been a while. <laughs> um, there we go. I was like, what am I doing? I saw you on Happy People. Oh my goodness, are you part of the Happy People people as well? The team? Welcome in. Um, and thank you so much for gifting a sub to um, Stream Elements. I need to, um, yeah, I need to sort that out. <laughs> it doesn't work because I got rid of the Christmas emotes. I have forgot to update it. Um, I'm sorry. Let me do my welcome message because I, it's my first stream back of the year and I'll be honest, I am like so frazzled today. I have something in my eye. Oh. I thought I had a welcome come on oh well anyway my name is Dana I am a co-working streamer and sometimes I play games um at the moment I have an assignment due um Monday <laughs> and I'm really behind I just had a meeting with my mentor and um that's what I'm working on today um do you guys have anything that you are working on today you don't have to be working on something to um to be in here I would like to just clarify we'll probably be chatting and doing like some mental health chats and things as well so like please don't feel like you're like oh shit I gotta work on something but also if you have something that you need to be doing and you're procrastinating it this is the place to be <laughs> and thank you so much Fox for um for gifting a sub to Steph that's really kind of you the stream was productive I did some art oh nice oh lovely what kind of art do you do yes I'm part of the happy people as well oh welcome in amazing also i've just noticed there's like a new um thing that shows you who the raider is huh. also pardon i'm a founder of course you are you're like amazing let me give you a quick follow as well um so i can check your stuff out later amazing since when brah i also got rid of a couple of people that don't come to my stream anymore from the founders so that might be why um, let me catch up on chat as well. And then I need to change the command to not have snow hype anymore. <laughs> Cause it's not Christmas anymore. Um, also Mama Prism, I'm so sorry I missed you. Um, hi, welcome in, how are you lovely? I hope that you're well. And if not, then I'm sending you so many positive vibes. Um, as many as I have in me, really. Take them all. <laughs> Take them all. <laughs> Um, uh, I need to open that, don't I? Yeah. I love those spy place videos. I love Cassie Cameos. I love Cassie Cameos, except for when she like shows her butt and then I'm like, mm, can you not? <laughs> like, can you not? Bless her though, bless her. Um, candle cam sounds so cool. I love it. I'm so sad my cam my other webcam's not working at the moment. <laughs> Glad to see you. Glad to see you too. Um, Oh, yay! Thank you so much for the follow. That's so kind of you. Um, I'm well working on a bucket hat. Oh my god, a bucket hat! That's so cool! Oh my gosh. Um, I hope that it's going well. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad that you're well. Um, oh my goodness. It's hard to go with the flow if you're not used to it. Yeah, I'm not used to it. I'm a very stressed person. <laughs> I'm a very stressed person, um, naturally. Um, <laughs> But I'm really trying to go with the flow and be more chill about things because stressing will really not help me, <laughs> like, at all. It's easier for some things than others, so... You know, it's, 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 it, it's a whole process. <laughs> oh wow, you were singing! Oh, that's a lot, I love singing. Um, that's so cool. Not stressing about things is about as easy as dropping a whole foot off your body because it itches. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to be more chill when like things change. So like my auntie was like, oh, we might have to change where we're going to eat tomorrow. And I was like, that's okay. Like wherever we go, as long as it's inside, I don't really care at this point now. Like I have decided that as long as I can eat inside, I'm okay. <laughs> I really hate eating outside because we have like seagulls everywhere and um, 
it's also freezing at the moment. <laughs> like even with a heater, I'm like, do I want to be out here? Like, mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Ah, uh, sewing it from some rainbow fur material I found. Oh my god, that sounds so cool. That sounds so freaking cool. You guys are so cool. Like, oh my god. <laughs> and I get to know you. Hi! <laughs> You're here! Um, it's so nice to see you again. I hope you feel, feel better now. I feel better, I think, with streaming. Um, but I'm still, like, mentally ill. <laughs> Um, not great. <laughs> um, but like, mainly just because I'm just exhausted all the time at the moment, but that's okay. Um, gonna lurk for a while, just gonna do some self-care progress. Oh my goodness, yes, of course, go, um, go do some self-care, whatever you need to do, get some water, and, and have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for the raid again, that's so, so kind of you. Right, Dana, it's the middle of winter. I know, right? She's like, oh yeah, they only sit outside at this re restaurant, and I was like, it's it's freezing outside like I, I can bring a scarf but still <laughs> still um so when she was like oh no we'll go to this other place I was thinking yes <laughs> I can sit inside <laughs> so yeah as long as I'm warm I can deal with the food <laughs> situation okay let me catch up on everything that I need to do at the moment it's a weird old thing coming back to streaming. <laughs> it's like things I keep missing. Um, thank you again to everyone who um, participated in the, um, I forgot the word, uh, hype train, there we go. <laughs> I really appreciate it, that's very kind of you. Um, it, that was uh, a big surprise coming back from the loo to, uh, to a hype train, but very kind. Um, thanks, hoping it turns out well. Oh my goodness, I hope as well. I have everything crossed for you. I used to do this, but apparently that cancels out. So now I just do this. <laughs> I hate being cold while I eat. I feel that. Like, uh, like if I'm gonna be cold, then I'm bringing a blanket. And if that's not socially acceptable, um, I don't care. Um, I hate being too cold or too hot while eating too. So just, yeah, yeah. I don't really like being too. Uh, like, <laughs> I am gonna say though. Luckily in the UK. <laughs> Being too hot is not normally a problem. <laughs> like it doesn't normally happen. But then you get like picky teas and things like that. Or like we normally do like quiche and coleslaw and then some chips and I like that. I'm the kind of person that will take a bite, one out and then box the rice and take it home to eat the rest. That's nice. I think like, I always try and eat like as much as I want to eat um but then like not force myself to finish stuff so i'm always like i can take it home if i want to you know like that is always an option too like i'm always trying to remind myself hmm. also like i i'm trying to like unlearn the habit of like you have to finish your food or like if you don't finish your food you can't have pudding and things like that because it's really like messed up to <laughs> to do that to yourself it gets too humid though, which is unpleasant. I imagine it's not, yeah. I just like, I know you, you aren't part of the UK, Lily, but like when I'm, I'm talking about the UK in like weather things, I'm always including you in it because I feel like we can't be that much different, can we? <laughs> like you're not that far away from us. Oh yeah, since I do this intentional eating, I feel much better. Oh, I keep trying and I'm really bad at it. Like I don't ever, but like you're, when you eat, you're supposed to like eat what you're like, take your bite and then put whatever you're eating down and like not do anything with your hands and like just eat it. And then, then you can go for your second bite because a lot of the time we're like eating and then like we're literally, as we're eating, getting ready for our next bite and stuff. And you have to be like more mindful about your eating or something, but um, I will say I'm just like cramming food in, <laughs> so <laughs> maybe not the best. Right, let me change my my hype command now that I've changed them all in um, Twitch. <laughs> um, it's really hard talking on stream because I forget that I forget words all the time and now like you guys can just see it happen in real time. Um, as opposed to like the little bit of a buffer I get when I'm just chatting to people, like typing in Discord. <laughs> uh, 
Oh gosh, I'm about to start a food journal on Ocean. Ooh, that sounds really good. I used to have an app on my phone and I think I deleted it when I needed more space on my phone. Um, that like, you could like do the uh, calorie deficit we're in and I used to do that all the time. And then I don't ever count calories when I'm ill because I think like, um, the word is intuitive eating. Ooh, nice. I like that. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, the calorie deficit, but I never count my calories when I'm ill because I'm like, anything I eat when I'm ill is good, you know? <laughs> like, the fact that I'm getting anything into my body when I'm not feeling well is, is good enough for me. <laughs> it's, it's good enough. So, yeah. And then I was ill a lot, and then I, like, with migraines and stuff, and then I just didn't, then I just didn't do it anymore. <laughs> So, never mind. <laughs> so I need to maybe count. I think I would like to do a food diary again, just to know like what affects me, um, like migraines or like feeling not well and stuff like that. I think it would be helpful. I'm starting to learn or rather unlearn, but it's it's uh, really hard. Which one, the like intentional eating or the like um, n not having to finish your food every time you eat? Hi baby, what's up? If you're gonna be noisy, whoop, whoop, hang on, mommy got you. If you're gonna be noisy, you can come say hello to everybody. I'm here, but gonna be quiet while I work on my Builder Games build. No worries, Gibbs. You are like so fine. Thank you so much for being here. I'd say have you missed Cassie, but um, she's been here. <laughs> I don't think Streamlabs is working. Hang on. Streamlabs is being like a bit sassy today. <gasps> Meow. Oh, she's come back. Oh, it's off. Cloudbot is off. <laughs> Why is Cloudbot off? Cloudbot was like, you have not streamed, so you don't get to be on. Okay, it should work now. Do I not have Cassie as a comment? Oh yeah, I have Cat. There we go. We get it again, but we get it with the actual thing. Cassie's still nine years old for now. Oh, I think that covered her butthole. That was good. <laughs> she loves showing that. Um, Vibe, Fox is vibing at 87%. Let's go. Of course we miss Cassie too. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, in the quiet, <laughs> in the quiet productivity channel, when I was showing off the candles, at one point she just fully showed her whole butthole. <laughs> for like ages and I was like um mm, can you can you move please <laughs> like this would be nice if you could just shimmy away <laughs> bless her Fox's comfort levels are 340 percent nice I had to like <laughs> I had to change my title um because my ha my exclamation mark ones were like my um charity ones because I forgot the last stream I did was a charity stream and I was like trying to remember my <laughs> commands like put in here so I've just added hug, because I was like, I think we all need a hug at the moment. So, nice. Steph is vibing at 63%. And you're comfortable, oh no. What are you doing in my I could totally use a hug, oh bless you. There you go, I've hugged you. Um, Kelly, welcome in. 11 months. Let's go. Thank you so much for the um, sub. 95%. Oh my god, Blaze. Sneaking in there with the with the 95% vibe. I added another one like ages ago and I've forgotten what the command was. So just ignore me for a second while I check. Hey, can you stop being um, aggressive there, lovely? Just be patient. Oh, you're not very patient. That's okay. Hello, love. Oh, you can do exclamation mark healing. So, I um, can't remember what happens, but something something cool will happen. I hope. I don't want to sign up. I want to log in. Okay. Healing, yay, Cassie is sending you 2,103 healing points. 
Wow, Fox, Cassie sent you 7,753 healing vibes. Good to see y'all. I'm at work, but I'm dropping by to support. Oh my goodness, it must be snack time. Amazing. Um, thank you, Kelly, um, for your, your support. I appreciate you. Why am I talking to Kelly when she literally has no sound? Why have I done this? There we go. I'm just telling her to get her cussy butts. Oh my god, why did I add a zero in there? Um, I hope you have a nice dinner. See you later. Oh my goodness. So speaking of intuitive eating, I have to go to dinner, bread and cheese. Oh, nice. Now, but I come back into my mood. Oh no, <laughs> you don't have to use up your mobile data, bless you. <laughs> That's so kind of you though. Enjoy your bread and cheese. That sounds lovely. Who's got Cassie vibes that I haven't read out? Lily does. Cassie is sending you bloody hell. 9,580% healing vibes. All right then. Obviously she likes you. <laughs> Oh wow, Cassie's sending you 2,093 healing vibes. I will, you're important. You're important too. You are so sweet, Jewel. I am forever grateful that you are my friend. Let me send you some cute emotes as well. I'm gonna send you pumpkin love because I don't think anyone else can use it but me. I haven't done my vibe, I just realized. What am I vibing at? I'm vibing at 7%. Fair enough. <laughs> A bit rude. <laughs> but fair enough. <laughs> Bye for now, sweet dinosaurs. Oh, goodbye, lovely jewel. Goodbye, my lovely. Um, Kelly is vibing, uh, no, Kelly's comfort levels are 606%. That's nice. I wonder what my comfort levels are. I bet be fucking comfy because I have two candles on. Do you know how cozy two candles are? 599%. I will take that. I will quite happily take that. Um, Lily is vibing at 74%. Let's go. And your comfort levels are 661%. That's not bad at all. I'm glad we're comfy because that would suck if we weren't comfy. Oh yeah, I was changing my emote. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> I need a candle, it's settled. The comfort level is too done though. Oh no. I, you can share one of my candles. I have this Christmas Eve cocoa one. I have a slightly hotter one to hold. Um, caramel crunch, which I, th oh, which I think is Easter themed. I will, I will preface this right now. I am not buying a carrot cake candle, okay? I'm not doing that. I am not doing it, guys. Don't make me do it. Why? Because I just don't like cake candles. They always smell really artificial and it ruins it for me. I like carrot cake in real life, but it's just disappointing. <gasps> Fox. <laughs> I heard it this time. I was like, <laughs> I wanted to get, um, there's like a, um, uh, like a cereal one and it looks so good. And I was like, I want to buy this so badly. And then I was like, mm, it's not going to smell nice though. I don't know. I don't like buying candles online that I can't smell first. That's why I like TK Maxx. So I just go to TK Maxx and like smell a bunch of candles. I love it. Although I saw some candles where they were in like tin can, uh, tin can, yeah, like cans, and you like had to open them, like the ring pull them open. And I was like, that's so cool. But like, I don't like, one was electric floral and the other one was like sweet spearmint. And I was like, but I don't 100% know what those smell like. Like what if it's not a nice um, spearmint? Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes the mint smells are quite artificial. So I was like, mm, I didn't get them. <laughs> I did get a peppermint candle though. Um, an essential oil one. And I can't remember what the other candle, oh yeah, a rose quartz one. Sanjia, your comfort levels are 79%. I am so sorry. That, I don't know why the bot was very mean then. I'm sending you more. 
comfy, <laughs> a comfy um, levels. I'm sending you some of mine. It's so good to see everyone. I love all of your to the moon and back. I love, I love Kelly. Kelly is just like the fucking best. <laughs> like she is the fucking best. Combined, we have a normal comfort. <laughs> I am really struggling to type today. <laughs> it just, it, it's not happening. Um, sounds delicious, it does sound delicious. Um, I would take all the comfiness. Yes, all the comfiness. What am I doing? Hype, hype, that's what I was doing, okay. Um, what hype do I wanna use? Dino Raid. Danasa. No. Oh, hydrate, thank you, yeah. Like I said, I think I'm like getting ill because my throat, when I'm ill or run down, my throat is always the first to go. Thank you for the hydrate. Oh. I did the stretch, but there was no crunch. Oh, I've been getting some good crunches out of my stretches this, this week. Danasa to Raid Dino, okay. Hello, my lovely. Give me two seconds. Oh my god, why is it in capitals? She said no now, please. I know. I sometimes I say to her as a joke, like, please be patient, like as if she's gonna be patient. <laughs> She looks at me like, bitch, what? <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen? Uh, I don't fucking think so. <laughs> Bless her. I know, baby. Give me one second. But also, like, way more than one second. Because if I don't do this now, I'm gonna forget. I was gonna drop my merch tomorrow. My, like, January merch that's... <laughs> That it is now February merch, but I wasn't sure if anybody wanted um, it early or if I should just wait until Tuesday for Valentine's Day merch. Oh, I hope that works. I'm gonna test it quickly. Cats have no concept of patience. I know. I'm like, hey, wanna be patient? And she's like, hey, wanna give me some fucking food like right now? Oh yay, my height worked again, perfect. <laughs> Remember when I just like gaslit everyone into thinking the like snow hype was real <laughs> and then I got rid of it. Oh, how rude. So we actually have all of our old emotes back. So we haven't got any, apart from, I'm just gonna say, we haven't got any of our Halloween ones and we haven't got any of our um, Christmas ones anymore, except for I changed the cozy one permanently to the cozy cocoa one because everyone liked that one more. Um, and don't get me wrong, I like the cozy sleepy dinosaur, like so much, so cute. But I have merch with the Coco one now. And also, okay. And also it's so cute. Also we do still have the um, ghost witch because I like it. Um, there's really no other <laughs> explanation. I just really think it's cute. Like so cute. Okay. I am just gonna go feed Cassie before she decides to eat me in my sleep later. Hello. There we go, I've successfully saved myself from being eaten in my sleep later by a vengeful cat. But how's everyone doing? How's this, um, how's this year gone for everybody? I hope it's gone well. Just 
change of plans here. I suddenly got exhausted after a long day, busy day. I'm gonna leave a lurk and go get some sleep. <gasps> That's amazing, Gibbs, get some sleep, bless you. You um, are amazing and thank you so much for coming in and I really hope that you get a nice restful sleep. Um, and just thank you for being you. Yes, all the restful sleep with the lovely, lovely peanut. <sighs> I just need to check what the last mindfulness um, not mindfulness, um, I forgot what I was saying. Affirmation, yes, okay, we're, we're back. Um, <laughs> the last one I showed was I love and accept myself as I am, which I'm hoping was the last one. It was not, <laughs> it was not. So I changed, we've had two affirmations since um, I have been on my break. So I'm gonna take pictures of them now to share in the mindfulness channel later. And then obviously I will share them with you in a second. I'm not just gonna be like, whoops, never mind. <laughs> Cause that would be rude. Okay, so the one that we have missed is I'm confident in myself and my abilities. And then the one that I have at the moment, which I really like, which has been for quite a while actually, um, is my past does not dictate my future. And I think that's really nice because I am dealing with a lot of stuff at the moment, which I've talked about in the Discord quite often, where, um, uh, why have I pinned this? There we go. Um, where <laughs> I got really confused by pinning something and I confused myself. Um, yeah, where um, in the past it's not been so good, but now I'm kind of laying the tracks for my future. Um, so, you know, things things can be get better. Oh my God, I almost like set my arm alight. Oh, that was terrifying. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna swap these candles over. So yeah, perfect. <laughs> my year has been okay so far. How has yours been? Mine's been really, um, I wanna say good, but like also intense because like, like I was just saying, like I put in a lot of work for like my future and stuff. Like I have faced um, my fear a couple of times um, with the, the dentist, which is amazing. Um, for me anyway, cause like I've avoided it for a very long time cause I am absolutely terrified. Um, and that's not even me putting it lightly. Like I am literally terrified. Um, I avoided even the subject, even like someone talking about, like Braylon would be talking about it in her chat and I'd be like, mm, mute. <laughs> I just need to step away for a minute. And now I like can even talk about it. It's like crazy. Like, um, yeah, I can't believe how much growth like I've had where I can now just talk to people about it. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to a dentist. Like what? Like me from even like two years ago would be like crying, like even like mentioning it. So um, yeah, lots of growth this year so far, which has been really nice. Thank you so much for the um, exclamation mark proud Lily. Um, I'll talk a bit more about my um, my year in a bit. Um, well, first few weeks were not all that good, but the last two weeks I got the Builder Game invite, which you knew about already, and my daughter Kate called me up the other day for the first time in a year and a half, and I got pics of my younger sons, who I haven't seen since they were four and seven. Oh, I'm sorry the first few weeks were not all that good, but I'm glad that the the last two weeks you've um, you've had some lovely things happen. I need to hear that second one on an almost daily basis, I think. I think the affirmation cards, um, the, like the ones, the lovely Justine got us, um, I, I think they're really helpful just to remind you as well, like just how amazing you like really are. I'm really like trying to um, embrace like the self love, like um, obviously Valentine's Day is coming, I almost said Halloween. <laughs> My head was like, Halloween's coming up, it's not. It's February, <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up. And um, 
I've, I, I've really embraced um, the self-love. I bought um, a rose quartz candle, um, rose quartz infused, um, what is it called? Diffuser, reed diffuser. Um, so yeah, the like I always say, like, um, like literally always, uh, <laughs> um, rose quartz follows me wherever I go. Like, do I like rose quartz? I think I do now, but um, I never kind of really, I don't know, I was always like, nah, rose quartz is alright, but like, I don't really care about romance, so it's not really my type of crystal, but of course, of course, it's more than just, like, romance, you know, there's so many more things to it, which, you don't even have to redeem a crystal question, I can tell you more about rose quartz if anybody would like to, in the season of self-love, <laughs> self-love, <laughs> just the way I was like, self-love, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm really trying to embrace it now. I'm like, this um, this crystal is following me for a reason and I'm gonna embrace it. I think I do need to um, be more on a self-love journey um, that <laughs> that um, I think I've been missing. Halloween technically is coming up. <laughs> just a long coming up. Yeah, it's Halloween soon, like just a couple of months. <laughs> um, this is me with the dentist. Successfully cleaning this week though. Successful cleaning this week though. I love my hygienist finally. <gasps> Mama Prison, that's amazing. So I um, actually went to the hygienist last week for the first time ever. Like I'd never been to the hygienist before. Like I didn't know it was a thing when I was little. Like it just, I don't know, like maybe I just had a, like a shit dentist or like an NHS one didn't want to I don't know tell us about it I have no idea as a kid I didn't listen to many things <laughs> but yeah like um, I went for my checkup at the beginning of the year and then they were like oh yeah you should go to see a hygienist my hygienist is so fucking lovely guys um she gave me where is it she let me pick she had like all these cards out like all these like little things and she let me pick one and it's positive affirmation guys I love affirmations so it says today I sow seeds of good intention and watch myself grow and I was like that's literally what I'm doing so I love it I love it love it love it she was like do you meditate I was like I do <laughs> I forgot to tell her I had um, a crystal in my pocket um, but I told um, the um, treatment specialist the other day I was like oh the the um, hygienist I had was so lovely like she was really on board and I was like oh I forgot to tell her I had a crystal and she's like oh my god you should have she loves crystals and then and then the technical specialist was like oh for your root canals um I would suggest um and she just I can't remember what they were I wrote them down but she suggested two crystals that I should bring with me or like one of like you should bring one of these two crystals with you to help and I was like what the fuck like I don't know I like dentists are always like scary people to me <laughs> and it was so weird because I was like these are real people like they have the similar interests to me so it's really nice um but it was a funny like moment where it's like these people are like me <laughs> but it was like amazing they're so lovely um also thank you so much Kelly um saying that she is proud of me she's so sweet I love her um Oh, Lily, Lily redeemed a therapist card. I'm gonna do two, because um, I haven't done therapist cards in ages. That day that is on this coming Tuesday is not a good day for me, and I tend to withdraw a bit, and it has nothing to do with the holiday. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Gibbs. Um, if you want me to stop mentioning that day, um, I'm quite happy to do so. That's not a problem at all. Um, also, if anybody ever wants me to stop talking, um, no, <laughs> but if you want me to stop talking about a subject um, in particular, if you just do exclamation mark uncomfy, I will completely um, change the, the um, topic. It might take me a minute to think about what else to talk about, but I am more than happy to do that. Is it coming up or has it just passed? Where is the line drawn? Um, so I would say it's coming up until um, obviously Halloween and then it's it's passed I would say until Christmas and then as soon as Christmas is over I'm like Halloween's coming soon <laughs> you can save the holiday but not the day I'm ready to lay down soon no worries that's fine I can do that no problem at all that is no problem at all Gibbs and also enjoy your sleep um that's so awesome isn't it like so cool um they all, they've always been scary to me, but I finally found my tea people so happy for you. Thank you. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. Like, last year I just snapped, apparently. <laughs> and then I was, like, emailing for ages with the, um, 
the technical specialist like um loads of questions like, too many questions but no there's never any there's never ever too many questions well, i was emailing and asking so many questions i was like um checking in with things and stuff and then i was like finally ready to book an appointment and then <laughs> so i like was book i was like ready to book it and it was like beginning of december and then they like maybe like like middle of december and they were like oh yeah we have an appointment for you and it was like the second week of um january and i was like okay that's fine so then i had like to wait <laughs> <sighs> and I was trying to get um, a therapist in between that time, but uh, it did not happen, unfortunately. My therapist is busy at the moment. Um, she's got too many people, and I haven't seen her for like two years, so she's technically not my therapist anymore anyway. Um, so I, I have potentially got a call soon with somebody um, for um, some counselling. I'm sorry, I just like completely got my foot stuck on my um, pillow. <laughs> my cushion. There we go. Um, good night, Lexi. I hope you have a lovely sleep and have a lovely time zone. That's so kind of you. You too. Um, but yeah. Um, so I, yeah, I'm happy to talk about um, the dentist and teeth if people want to. But if you're uncomfy, please just do exclamation mark uncomfy. I honestly, I understand. I have been there. I have been there. Also, if anyone would like to join the Discord, we have talked in great depth about the dentist. Um, Lily um, is amazing. She has described so many things that have happened at the dentist so like the hygienist um and like even just the checkup she's like explained so many things to me in like such great detail and it has been so helpful because for me not knowing is like way worse than knowing everything that's gonna happen i like to be prepared i don't like to be what happened when i was a kid is like i'd lay there and then like the dentist would randomly come over with like a needle or something and i'd be like freaking out and i'd be like whoa 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 and i like sit up and i'd be like what's going on what's gonna happen next and stuff like that i like i don't like laying there and then just things coming at me without knowing what's happening um i feel like <laughs> i feel like i just set myself up for a joke there so i do apologize um <laughs> And there's a Discord. If the link doesn't work, please let me know. Um, it's been a while. <gasps> Justine, welcome in. Two years. Oh my gosh. It doesn't show because you're a mod, which is really annoying, but I don't know what the two year badge is. Ah, what's happened? I've clicked on something. Ah. Um, but welcome in, Justine, and thank you for being a lovely um, friend in. The Discord earlier, I appreciated you um, hanging out with me while I was getting some work done. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna be like two seconds. I'm literally just gonna take a picture of the um, sunset. <laughs> oh my god, hi. Fun fact, I absolutely love sunsets. Um, it brings me so much joy in my life. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. I <laughs> sorry I just left stream to take a picture of uh, a sunset, but uh, as many of you know, I love sunsets, so it's not that unusual. <laughs> We've got two therapist cards for Lily, haven't we? Yeah, perfect. Um, oh my God. Sorry, it's been a while since I've been doing this, so I'm a bit all over the place. <laughs> But welcome in, Justine. Much love to you in this community. Much love to you, my lovely. Oh my goodness, two years. Can you believe it's been two years? It's crazy. Oh my goodness, I'm so thankful to have known you for two years. Yeah. 
you're doing great thank you <laughs> I think like pressing um go live was the hardest thing that's happened like today once I press like go live it was a lot easier but it's like getting to that point and like for me the longer I don't do something for the like worse it is for my anxiety and to so like I would just avoid it like constantly um like I was like constantly like all the time but obviously constantly and all the time <laughs> it's the same thing silly me what do you think of cars like the film I really liked it I like Lightning McQueen, McQueen. I, I said his name wrong <laughs> I like Lightning McQueen Kachow. <laughs> love it um I feel like that wasn't the qu <laughs> I feel like that wasn't the question but I, I do like Lightning McQueen <laughs> Um, I've seen the second cause, but I don't think I've seen the third cause. Is there a third cause? I th feel like there is a third cause, but I don't think I've seen it. Cars like a car, in, you know, in real life. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I like cars in real life. Um, I'm not really that fast about them. Like, I like my car because it works and it drives me where I need to drive. But um, I'm not. I'm not like um, some people. Like, really like into cars where they're like, um, oh, I want to get the like, I don't know, because I don't know cars. Uh, would you drive a uh, Citroen C3 um because that's what I learned to drive in really <laughs> and that's literally how I picked my car I was like oh what car did I learn to drive in I'll drive that <laughs> what about you do you like cars in real life what do you drive um that's normal when you avoid something your brain registers it as a danger hey 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 Cassie Cassie Yes, you have a scratching post over there. Please stop. Please stop scratching my laundry basket. That's very nasty. Hey? If you do that again, I'll have to give you cuddles, won't I? Hey? Thank you for stopping. Yeah. Good girl. I drive a Supra MK3, not anything new, but at least it's fast. See, it's like that. I have no idea what that <laughs> means. What color is it? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I'm like, mm, well, <laughs> when I got my first car, um, they were like, what car do you have? I was like, a white one. It was a Fiat 500. <laughs> um, classic um, girl car. I expected, like, I expected something like Ferrari and Lambo. Um, I really don't give off those vibes. <laughs> Like, who is driving a Ferrari or Lambo around, like, the town? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Braylon, welcome in. Don't don't be silly. You're fine. It's, like, really early for you. Is 177 miles per hour fast? I mean, the speed limit is 70, so I'm going to say, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably a little bit fast. Um, anyway, let me catch up on chat. You did it though. I did, Blaze. Thank you. Um, I can't believe it. <laughs> and thank you, Lily, uh, for being kind. Um, I like car. I like my car because it works. It's so funny to me. Yeah, because like, what else is the point of a car? Like, it's to take you to places. It gets me from point A to point B, and it works. As long as it doesn't cause me problems, I like my car. If it causes me problems, I don't like my car. You know, like. It's, it's, it's simple to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, hi. <gasps> Sarah, welcome in. Hi. Oh my goodness. Look at that cozy cocoa emote. So cute. How are you, my lovely? How are you? <gasps> Meow. So exciting. Also, if you haven't done it already, please do exclamation mark healing for a um, fun surprise, a new emote. Um, that's fun. Someone sent me a message, what's happened? Oh, wait, Braylon is sub. <gasps> Fox, thank you so much for the gifted sub to um, Braylon. I can't believe I missed that, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I'm good, rescued another cat. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. Oh my goodness, I love that. Um, oh my goodness, kitty cats. I love cats so much. Where's my cat? Ugh. Hello, love you. 
You love me too. Oh. Let's go, please. I was gonna say welcome in, um, because it triggered me. <laughs> but um, you're already here. <laughs> Whoa, Blaze, so much healing. Blaze has got. Cassie has sent Blaze, a crazy amount of healing vibes. Seven thousand nine hundred and nine. So much healing. She also sent. Oh, I can't remember who else got a seven thousand one. Lily, how much healing? It was like nine thousand or something as well. She's like giving all the like healing vibes out today. Also, I have not forgotten Lily. Um, I've got your therapist cards. Um, I'm just getting distracted. There's a lot of um, things happening. <laughs> Um, Cassie is giving all the healing today. She is. Oh, Justine! Cassie sent you 9,415% healing vibes. I only went up to a certain amount because I wasn't sure I would be able to, um, to say it. Like, because, you know, when it gets, like, to a certain amount, I'm like, mm, how do you say this? Um, she gave me 9,000 vibes to Jen. Could you imagine if it sends only, like, one healing? It doesn't. It, it will never send one healing because that's not very cozy vibes. <laughs> um, it is, oh no, it does go to one. Why would it do that? I told it not to do that. <gasps> Could you imagine if it only gave one? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to change that right now. Okay, we'll go from like a thousand to 10,000. Oh my God. I thought I changed I'm like there going, no, that's never gonna happen. And then I realized I forgot to fucking change it. Could you imagine? That would not be very, hashtag good vibes. <laughs> Thanks, Blaze, for mentioning that. Oh my God. <laughs> what a shit that would have been. <laughs> I was wondering if you set the limit high. I did mean to, yeah. Yeah, I would have done. <laughs> Apparently I got distracted halfway through making it. Um, thank God. <laughs> Could you imagine? Cassie doesn't like me. <laughs> Apparently not. Um, <laughs> okay, so Lily, your first therapist card is every time you thought life would defeat you, you were wrong. Look like how cute this is. You get a single good vibe. I mean, at least you still get one, I suppose, but, <laughs> but it, still, it still would be a bit shit. I'd be like looking at her like, you don't have any more good vibes to give. You have any more healing to give to people. <gasps> I've never seen this card before. It's so cute. I'm sorry if shouting is really loud now. I'm, my mic is probably completely messed up. Um, so it says, whatever you manage to do today will be enough. How cute is that? How cute. Look at that little chunky boy or girl. I don't know them. Um, that's so cute. So cute. Little chunky. Oh, love it. Your mic sounds amazing. Thank you. So I've done two things. One, um, I changed it on the NVIDIA broadcast, which I have now. Um, and the noise removal is down a bit more. I think I had the noise removal up too high um, to the point where it was like blocking me out. <laughs> and I also have it, I don't know if I can like quickly move it. I also have it just on, like just in front of me and a bit higher on this um, well-being little box of well-being which has become a little box of where I'm putting my uh <laughs> microphone at the moment oh 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 I'm so sorry I didn't know you were there I'm sorry lovely I've got a Cassie cuddles though so that's a very good timing thank you Fox for the um Cassie cuddle it was Fox wasn't it yes Cassie cuddles Cassie cuddles which you can't hear but she's purring Oh, I wonder if we can here, actually. I don't know if you could hear that, but she was purring. I kind of miss having my headset because she used to like sniff the like mic and like purr into it and it was very cute. <laughs> um, that is so cute. So cute, so cute. You have no idea how much I needed to hear that. Honestly, I needed to hear it too. So I feel like the cards knew. The cards knew what we needed, Lily. And it was that cute, chunky dog and telling us that, you know, what we're doing is enough. 
Also, I'm so sorry. I've completely ignored Braylon's healing vibes. I'm so sorry. Uh, to make up for it, Cassie is going to tell you. Cassie is sending you 7,561% healing vibes. Stop licking my hand so I can do it. She sent those to you. She's so done with me. She's like... Fuck off. <laughs> so, <laughs> bless her. I love her. She's so sweet. Hello. Hi. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, sending all the love to you, Sarah. Um, God, that would be such a slap in the face. <laughs> Wouldn't it, though? <laughs> Like, oh wow, you got 9,000. Oh, I got 7,000. I got one. <laughs> Just, it would not be good, would it, love? It would not be good. I have so many, like, well being and um, self care and stuff at the moment that it's like completely unreal. Oh, God, I'm just literally elbowing my cat all the time. I'm so sorry, love. <laughs> Mummy needs to be a bit more aware of her surroundings today, hey? Don't sniff the candle. Hot. I also had these gratitude cards I bought myself for Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. That was a while ago, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, so the card I have at the moment, it says, the unthankful heart discovers no mercies, but the thankful heart will find it in every hour some heavenly best blessings thank you for the the bless you i appreciate it <laughs> um so there's just loads of like inspirational quotes but also like there's reasons to be grateful i'm grateful for the stars that pierce through the night sky so like it's just nice so there's like some inspirational quotes there's some reasons to be grateful like it's it's very much like obviously gratitude cards but like it's very much nice so I am grateful for refreshing walks that calm my mind and ease my spirit. It's all about trying to be grateful. I like I am grateful for my memory that allows me to learn from my mistakes. Just like some things that I think like we always forget when we're like, what am I grateful for? And we're like trying to think and I always say my cat, but it's like, I'm thankful for myself. You know, I'm thankful to be able to remember things. I'm thankful that I'm able to learn and grow from my mistakes all amazing things that we can do and that honestly some people find really hard to do and that's okay it's okay if you find it hard to do but um my cards aren't as pink but it, the sky still looks gorgeous i'm grateful for the pink clouds outside right now i'm grateful for the amazing sunset that i got to see because i don't get to see the sunset very often because I'm normally working. <laughs> like, I normally miss it because I'm not, I am by a window, but it doesn't, it's not the right side. So I miss it, but that's okay. Today I'm grateful for Fridays, morning routines, nice smelling body wash and my switch. I love this. Also earlier, Braylon, I asked people how their year has gone. So if you would like to participate in that, you're more than welcome. If you do not want to participate in that, that is also fine. No pressure. We're just chill. I do like that people are talking about what they're grateful for. I think that's really nice. It's nice to set those intentions as well. Do, 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 do. I haven't listened to this playlist since since my last stream. <laughs> so I'm actually really loving these songs again. I'm like, yeah, loving it. My year has been doing great. I'm trying to do a lot of reflections and be intentional about the things I want to do each month and work on. I love that. I really love that. And that's a good thing with spring and summer soon because the sunset will be getting later so you can catch it after work soon. Yes, I can't wait. I have to remind myself though because what I have been wanting to do is when it gets dark, which it has been for like, the problem is I always want to go when it gets dark and then I get like really um, depressed. Like I have seasonal depression quite badly. Um, and then I don't do it. But I, I what I really want to do is take my camera up um, 
I almost was gonna say where and that would have docked me um up high and just take pictures of the sky like with the um with the stars and stuff because where I live I've got like um I've got like a car park near me that's got lights and then like the street lights and stuff like that and it's just like ugh, you can't take a nice picture of the stars because of all the lights so I was gonna go up onto like some hills somewhere or like um, like a darker place and take some pictures of the sky. <clears throat> but every time it gets, every time I want to do it, it's when it's light and it's summer and it's warm and I'm like, yeah, I really want to go up up high and take some nice pictures. And then I'm like, but I can't because if I go, it's gonna be like super late and I'm like, I don't want to be out that late because um, obviously it gets later and later when it's when it gets dark when it's nice and sunny and warm. And then when I when it's like dark early it's cold and miserable and I feel like shit so I don't ever want to go but it would be nice it would be really nice to get some lovely star photos because my camera's got a nice setting on it for stars like to, to capture them all and I, I've got a nice um tripod as well that I haven't been able to use yet it's been getting lighter and lighter, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, the other day I finished work late, like at 20 past five instead of five, and uh, it was still light outside, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was pretty much getting dark, but still, <laughs> still, it was nice. There have been some bumps, of course, but I'm handling them well. I'm really, I'm really glad to hear that, Braylon. Um, I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, I too realised this year I have quite bad seasonal depression lol so I'm going to try and better plan for that this fall winter. That's really good. So now I have my um, my uh, sad um, light alarm clock thingy and I've got my seasonal depression um, lamp as well which I didn't actually use this year but I will be using next year that's for sure. Um, and also I have a new book. I feel like I'm shouting over this music I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. Um, I have a book that's all about self-care activities and stuff and it's grouped by seasons So I'm gonna grab it in a minute and we'll have a look at it And I think that's gonna be helpful too. I think I'm gonna take a solid two three months of streaming content this summer Maybe that will be helpful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take more breaks During the winter so I don't burn myself out like I did this last year and then didn't stream like <laughs> for like over a month <laughs> Um, I feel like maybe one or two weeks off will work better that way. <laughs> um, and maybe trying to be kinder to myself would, would help too. I think I forgot to say I was live. Never mind. I feel like this stream has gone really quickly as well. It's been nice though. It's not, I'm not complaining. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I was going to grab that book, wasn't I? Oh, and I still haven't talked about Rose Quartz. I will do that too. I'll grab my candle actually as well. Oh, lovely girl, I miss her from you. Be streaming again it's nice I, I'm like should I have streamed today because I'm talking so much and my throat hurts but you know hey what's life without a bit of pain <laughs> <clears throat> I was gonna stream tomorrow but because I'm going out for lunch by the time I get back um, Blaze I think will start streaming and then not that long after you'll be streaming and I think I really just want to sit and enjoy like streams with you guys and just sit in your chats and be chill because I've missed um your guys' streams for a while um so I thought that would be a nice thing instead and then I can just chill with you guys and get some uni work done and stuff um and then I'm I'm submitting it my, my assignment on Monday so then I thought maybe I could stream Tuesday and play games that day I noticed you weren't there last week oh I'm so sorry, I forgot to men message that I was going out for dinner and then when I realised I was like, I have no signal. Um, so I was like, shit. <laughs> but that's why I wasn't there, I was out having dinner um, with my, um, with my um, 
colleagues and ex-work colleagues and also the lovely Hannah. Sorry, there's like some children outside screaming. <laughs> um it's okay i hope you enjoyed yourself i did um unfortunately um as always with chinese food it um um dehydrates me a bit and i didn't drink enough water uh completely uh user error there uh, so i gave myself a migraine on the sunday <laughs> but you know it's all good it was worth it it was good <laughs> the food was good so it was worth it I hope stream was good though. What were you playing? I forgot to ask. Also, did the thing give you guys a shout out? I can never remember. Although it's unlikely anyone in here is not following you. But if you're not following Braylon or Steph, Steph is a solid seven and Braylon is Fluffy Monkey with three Fs, um, go follow them because they're amazing. And I know I told you guys to follow um, Blaze, well not Blaze, but Ray's Cave earlier, but um, I'm gonna remind you again today. Now, do it. <laughs> Forgot to say about BRB. Enjoy your BRB, Lily. I'm loving Disney Dreamlight so much. Oh my gosh, I haven't played that like for ages. I haven't played it this year, that's for sure. <laughs> I need to. Um, I definitely need to play it this year. I, I've only played one game this year. Can you imagine that? It's the 10th of February and I have only played a little to the left last week. And that was my treat for going to the hygienist because I was very stressed. But they were very lovely to me. Um, right, let's get that book. Where's the book? There's the book. In my hand. Okay, so this is so cute, by the way. Um, so it's called The Wellbeing Activity Book. Winter, how cute. Um, so then they've got things like sunsets. Winter is one of the best times of years to watch sunsets. It's when the colors appear at their most intense and the sunset is most drawn out. And then there's like, take up more space. Try this exercise to see what's taking up more space. Feels like, this is about posture. It's more about giving yourself permission. Take up all the space you need and not collapsing in on yourself. Sit or lie in a comfortable position. Imagine a line running from the top of your head down to the bottom of your spine. Now imagine that, imagine that line lengthening. Next, imagine another line running from one shoulder to the other across your body. Imagine that line lengthening. If you're sitting down, gently straighten your back to lift up your chest away from your middle, expanding the space inside your torso. Inhale deeply, filling your lungs. Notice how your ribs and muscles expand outwards in all directions. Um, having a pen pal, which honestly I feel like Discord is very much like having a pen pal. Um, nesting, like having a little like um, soothing solitude area. Joel, welcome back. Also, Fox, thank you for that. I'm still here just listening. I appreciate you. So excited for the update. Oh my gosh, yes, the Lion King update. Um, and also Mirabelle, right? Like Casita, I love it. I've been playing Sims like Sims like once a week and doing a build, playing Splatoon 3 and Disney Dreamlight Valley every night on my Switch before bed. I want Mirabelle so bad, I do. Oh, I love it. Um, I've been listening to Disney Lo-Fi and I love um, the Disney Lo-Fi version of um, We Don't Talk About Bruno. <laughs> it's amazing, it's amazing. Justine, thank you so much for redeeming. I'm still here just listening. I hope work is going okay for you. Um, give me Casita. Give me Casita. Um, it says about box breathing in here as well. Um, rest. Rest is a really good one. I need to rest, but um, I don't have time at the moment to rest. Which is a problem in itself, but I won't get into it. It's also one of the reasons I haven't had a chance to play any games for a very long time. But um, Blaze said I could take some of her time. Um, she said I could borrow some of her time, so I might do that at the weekend. <laughs> it's very kind of her. <laughs> um, it says plan something fun because I suppose in winter times you don't do so many fun things. Um, bake yourself a cookie. That's so cute. Oh, it's actually got ingredients as well. <laughs> Stretch. Stretching is very helpful. <sighs> and animals. <sighs> Excuse me. It says luxuriate in the little things as well, like doing a bubble bath or something nice. Feel good entertainment. See, my feel good entertainment when I'm in my seasonal depression time is um, Christmas films, like really cheesy Christmas films. Like, um, oh gosh, I think this is, you can't hear this, but you can hear this. Huh, weird. Um, 
but like the ones where it's like feel good, like like really cheesy, like um, a Christmas Prince and things like that. I love it. Um, this Wi-Fi is driving me nuts. 40 euros, 28 days for something so essential and they can't get it fixed. That's so irritating. Why is Wi-Fi costing money? Do you know what I mean? Like that is a necessity at this point. Um, that's very frustrating. Oh, it says the benefits of vitamin D are very well known these days. So you should go out in the sunshine <laughs> and journal. There's some things where you're like, mm, it's not as helpful, um, but might be helpful for somebody else. Also, at the end, they've got like some resources like um, the Samaritans and things like that. So, yeah, if anyone ever wants a, a season targeted self care thing, let me know. I got loads of books from TK Maxx actually. I got my pocket guide to manifestation. Anytime activities to set intentions, visualize goals and create the life you want. The little book of self care. 30 practices to soothe the body and mind. Just off the top of the head, at top of my head. 12, wear something you love. Very nice. Um, jewel. Especially because on the weekend there's no prog program like therapy or sport. I have to, I have unlearned what to do with that internet. Oh, me too. When I was a kid, I didn't have internet. Like the internet was a thing, but it, like cost a lot of money and stuff. Like it wasn't freely available. Um, I used to like do so many things, and now I'm like, what the what the fuck do I do? <laughs> like, what is life without the internet? Do you know what I mean? Like what is <laughs> sorry for the bad vibes i'm happy to be here there's no bad vibes at all you're allowed to like complain about something and and still be happy or still um give good vibes i'm always complaining about things it makes me feel better um to get it out also like your feelings are valid as well like braylon is saying i'm so sorry and it's frustrating because like i think like me i would hate to be in that situation as well and I, i'm sorry that you're in that situation and i'm sending you all the good vibes i know that doesn't help i wish i could send you all the strong wi-fi vibes <laughs> uh, i don't think we had the internet when i was a kid i feel like we did have the internet but like it was like dial up so like if my granny wanted to call somebody like i had to get off the internet <laughs> and like you couldn't just go into like the restaurant and like put your phone onto the internet. Like I remember being on my phone and accidentally pressing the internet button and being like, oh my God, I have to get out of this because it costs so much money. And now it's like, if you don't have uh, mobile data, then it doesn't do anything. So we had like dial up. That's what I remember. But I always used to be on paint. I always used to be like on paint creating something or I would be right. I wrote so many stories when I was little. I'd just be constantly like on the computer or my granny gave me her laptop at one point and I used to just type so many fucking stories. It was ridiculous. I was at the library all the time, just reading books. <clears throat> do you remember this weird sound from the modem? My roommate has this as a ringtone. I do, I do remember it. Oh, it existed, but I don't think we had it home. That's fair enough. Thank you so much. Of course. Of course, Jewel. Also, I have got this book called You Have the Power, and it's affirmations to change your life. And I thought maybe we could have them. I used to live at the library during summers. So during the summer, uh, where like around where I live, the libraries always did, um, like the summer holidays and stuff, they always did um, reading challenges. I used to smash the shit out of those. So I have so many little like medal things from completing them every year because my granny and I used to just go to the library like every week because I always stayed at my grandparents so I loved I loved the library I loved the reading challenges it was amazing yes you did them too amazing maybe it's reading and knitting and stupid mental health walks in the cold exactly stupid mental health walks are so helpful but you like don't want to do them because it's cold outside and then you're like walking through and you're like I don't want to be doing stupid walk for my mental health. And then by the time you get back, you're like, ah, oh, I really needed that. I like going with my mom and having a rant. <laughs> and by the time I get home, I'm like, oh, I feel better. <laughs> Out in the world. <clears throat> I love these. Look, I'm proud to be me. I can do all the things. 
I'm never alone. I'm in the right place doing the right thing at the right time. I love these affirmations. I'm not ashamed of who I am. Oh God. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I'm not ashamed of who I am or where I'm from. I shine bright. Amazing. I literally just do them for my Fitbit cheering for me. Oh, I love my Fitbit. My Fitbit though has made like a dent in my arm. It healed, but then I started wearing it again. It's not as bad because I don't wear it as often. Like I used to wear my Fitbit all the time to bed, like all the time, like wearing it. Now I wear it like anytime I'm gonna walk loads, but once I get home, I like take it off because I know I'm not gonna do enough steps for it to make a difference. And I never wear it to bed anymore because it literally like got rid of all my like muscles here <laughs> and it was like ridiculous. I actually love mental health walks. I love that for you, Lily. I just don't like moving like, I do want once I'm moving, but like I don't like when someone's like, oh, do you want to walk into town? I'd be like, no, <laughs> not really. But then like when we do it, I'm like, oh, this is really nice. <laughs> so. And then I've got this one that says, get your life together ish, a no pressure guide for real life self growth. Which is kind of nice. So they got ones for like lifestyle, health, relationships, finance and career. And then they've got difficulty levels as well, like um, difficulty level easy, which is figure out what you need and tailor your Sunday to it. And then like identify one pos possession that you can repair and fix it. And then drink an extra glass of water is an easy one, but a hard one is establish a bedtime sweet spot and stick to it. There's a lot of easy ones in here. Another hard one is stop trying to win. Keeping score either makes me feel super righteous regarding what the other person should be doing or in indignant, oh my God, indignantly awaiting my gold stars for what I'm doing right until I remember that there are no winners in this game. It's an interesting one. I will say having a bedtime sweet spot is so helpful. I, <clears throat> so Braylon has the accountability channel um, um, I have been doing mine even though I haven't been posting in there. It's just been too much energy to, to spend at the moment. Um, but I am enjoying cheering everyone else on like with the little um, emotes, you know. Um, but uh, I, I put in there being bed by 11, right? This whole week, I've not even been like, oh, it's half past 10. I need to start thinking about going to bed. I've been like, oh my God, can I just go to bed already? And I'll be like, oh, I'm just gonna go to bed early. And then I've been I've been exhausted. So I've been going to bed and I've been in bed before 11 consistently this whole week. So um, that's been really good. I've been woken up by my mom's cat the last two nights though, which has not been so good. So not last night, but the night before, Tyler like was, ended up sleeping like, woke me up by like standing and you know when the cats just put pressure on their first two feet and they're like really pointy in your chest oh. and he did that and then he like decided to fall asleep on my chest he is um not to fat shame my cat but he is obese and he is very heavy and uh when I woke up in the morning I felt like I had been hit by a bus <laughs> I was so achy I felt like shit um so that was not fun uh, last night he woke me up, but he went under the covers and um, fell asleep next to me, which was fine. But he's so hot, like he radiates so much heat that I was like sweating under the, I was like, oh. I had to like, like open the covers a bit. I was like, oh my God, Tyler, you are so like, you're radiating so much oh, heat, my God. Um, so yeah, I don't know why all of a sudden he's like being my best friend either. Like, I have no idea. Um, but he's a very sweet boy and we love him. <laughs> but if he could like stop waking me up at like four o'clock in the morning, that'd be great. <laughs> like why? <laughs> what is the reason? <laughs> um, I will say it's easier when you have a partner living with you because they can help hold you accountable. Yeah, that's fair enough. My cat's already asleep um when like i'm working here like when it gets late and i like should be in bed my cat's asleep next to me so she doesn't annoy me anymore like she doesn't get in my face and meow at me and stuff like to move so i can be really bad sometimes and just be like working away or like on my computer for like way too long <gasps> excuse me um so yeah i can fall into quite bad habits um I'm not blaming Cassie for it, but also like she should tell me to go to bed, right? 
Wait, it's her fault. But I like to take um, accountability for my thing. <laughs> I'm only really joking. I'm not really. Um, <laughs> bless her. Um, and then the last book, bless him. I know, right? He's so sweet. Um, the last book I got was this one. Spir Spirituality, Guidance for a Better Life. Um, so I'm not, <laughs> I feel like this is a shameless plug, but it's really not. Um, let me just do throne quickly. So on my throne wish list, I have, um, oh, I just can't remember the name, oracle cards, which are very close to tarot cards, except for the fact that the um, answer is more ambiguous. So, um, so I'm thinking about getting more into that side of things. Um, and that's uh, the moon one on there. So um, yeah, if you want to like research more about those, I think if you click the link, will it link you, Amazon? No? Oh, that's a bit shit. Message me and I'll send you the link to the, the moon one. And then you can like look at other oracle or just Google oracle cards to be fair. Um, there's like, I don't know, it's really interesting. And then I have another one. The little box of self care which I was thinking if somebody asked me to pull a card and I think about them of the little box of self-care, hopefully one of the practices that comes through will be one that's more towards you. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm still exploring that side of things. Also like, um, I'm getting a crystals for beginners. I've also added on here a crystals for beginners card deck, um, unlocking the power of crystals. Um, as well so like that one as well some people say that um in the thing that you have to think about the person and then you pull um a card and then it whatever one it is say an amethyst or something you read the back of it and hopefully it should relate to the person or something so i'm just really interested in kind of exploring that side of things a lot more um but yeah there's so many fun things on here as well oh my god my voice went so high pitched i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> there's like stranger things demo um pets and like jurassic world ones as well and then some scratching posts and things like that and there's also a dinosaur costume for my cat <laughs> um why is the question you're uh, thinking why not is the question i want to pose to you <laughs> there's also crystals on here and things as well because why not also because of the cost of living crisis and everything there's also gifts under five pounds because um well, because like people are struggling. <laughs> Why not have gifts under five pounds? Epic, welcome in. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh my God, look, oh my God, I love my new home. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. You've redeemed Give Cats a Treat and light one of my candles. Oh no, I don't have any candles close to me now. I have, currently I have, let me show you and then I will find a new candle to light. So I currently have Christmas Eve cocoa and which is the one i lit before stream and then fox redeemed light a candle and we lit caramel crunch and i'm gonna find a small one to add to the mix um i'm going to my first ever practice at the new football team like right now oh that's so exciting have fun Joel, just got the message that my mobile data is empty soon so wish you all a nice rest of the day and thank you for the stream day now so nice to see you back. So nice to see you um, in chat. And thank you so much for all your kind words. Um, and just how kind you are all the time to me. I really appreciate it. And all your messages and, and being in, um, messaging me on Instagram. I really appreciate you, Joel. <laughs> You're so kind to me. I hope you have a nice rest of your day. And I'm sending you all the good vibes and all the love. I hope your cheese and bread was nice as well. And the S bonds have Wi-Fi. Nice. Wi-Fi is always good. And thank you so much, Fox, for gifting a sub to um, to Epic. Big hugs. All the all the hugs to you as well, Joel. So cool to see you. It's nice. Yeah, I realise a lot of people haven't actually seen my face or or heard my voice in a while, <laughs> um, except for Braylon, Stefan, and Blaze because of the podcast. <laughs> and if anyone listens to the podcast, then I guess you've heard me as well. I can't believe we've got like three hundred and seventy nine followers. That's amazing, you guys. So lovely. 
Okay, the cardiologists want to fix what they broke, but at least then go to the football practice. I'm glad that you get to go to the football practice. Okay, I'm gonna give Cassie um, some treats. Also, um, Fox, um, quite a while ago now, um, got me a gift on Throne that was um, catnip, um, catnip treats, uh, dreamies, that's it, catnip dreamies. Um, so thank you so much um, for that, Fox. Um, uh, thank you from Cassie as well, because <laughs> she loves them. <laughs> so we're going to give her some of those. Yeah, we are. We're going to give you some treats. Okay, you said on my foot. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let go. Thank you. There we go. More? I don't know if you even chewed those. so quickly did you even chew them I said no mommy okay have some normal biscuits now you better be crunching those good girl good girl for crunching oh my god those are gone quickly as well I was just inhaling her food today my goodness oh my goodness there's such a cute doggo on the tram. Oh, I love that. Let's go, Cassie. Bless her. Cassie is so cute. She's so cute. Well done for getting it right. Um, epic. So Epic and I are on Be Real. Um, actually, a lot of us are on Be Real. Be Real. But um, she keeps commenting when I post a picture of just one of the cats going, is this Tyler or is this Cassie? And the other day, <laughs> and she was like, this is definitely Cassie. And I was like, yeah, oh my God, you got it right. Let's go. <laughs> it was just so much fun. <laughs> it was just silly fun. I love it. <laughs> oh bless you I hope everything goes well <sighs> today has been really fun I just want to take a moment to thank everybody for being so kind um, and sending so much love it's, it's really appreciated And I've got absolutely no work done in this co-working stream that said, let's get some work done. Um, has anyone else got any work done today? <laughs> oh, I was going to light a candle as well. Sorry. Um, the candle for lovely um, Epic. I know, but we didn't pick a candle. No. We've got to pick a candle. Um, hi Epic, hi. Also I had to go alone to City today and it was quite an experience. Oh, I hope it was a nice experience. I'm sorry if it wasn't um, a nice experience. Blaze was in here earlier as well, but um, she's um, she's streaming at the moment. I love your jogger, hoodie and jogger set. Thank you, I got it from Primark, or I get everything. They slightly aren't the same green. I don't know if you can tell on stream that they are slightly different shades of green. Um, but no one notices apart from my mum who like mentioned it to me and I was like fuck that I don't care um, But yeah, I got them from Primark last year, year before last I just never wear them, but I feel like so put together wearing a jogger set Like I don't know it feels nicer than just wearing like random jogging bottoms and my <laughs> Hogwarts jumper Getting things done, just planning out my experiments for next week. Let's go, Justine. Amazing. Um, but thank you so much for being nice about the things that I'm wearing. <laughs> it's really nice of you. I like your Disney hoodie. Thank you, Fox. It's really nice of you. I need to get some more nice hoodies that I like. That feel nice. And also, let's go for Justine getting work done while I'm just like chatting shit. <laughs> Ah. Mm. 
There we go. I think I sorted out all my commands now as well. I hope so. <gasps> Thanks. Oh, you're so welcome, Justine. Okay, I'm gonna look for the, um, oh, crystals are stuff there, I wonder. <sighs> I'm gonna look for the rose quartz because I said I was gonna do this and then I didn't and now I'm just annoyed with myself for keep forgetting. <laughs> like, okay, 84. I love a glossary. Like, just people underestimate the glossary. Okay, so uh, rose quartz, birthstone for January. Chakra heart, best for matters of the heart and calming friction in relationships of all kinds. Helps to lower stress levels and dissipate feelings of resentment, upset and jealousy. Um, can be used to boost self-love, emotional balance, friendships and romance. Wear a rose quartz pendants to ease stress and encourage calm. Which is kind of nice. And then I have it in my other book as well. I have quite a few crystal books. <laughs> Too many, some may say. Too many. Here we go, rose quartz. So um, the birthstone is Taurus. I don't know why I said January in the other one. Um, Element Earth, Chakra Heart, so it says. Can also ease general aches and pains as well. It says carry a small crystal with you to promote love, romance and relationship. And use the energy of rose quartz to soothe and calm yourself. So, yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm actually gonna let myself um, finally let the rose quartz that follows me everywhere I go I'm gonna let it in this year, I think. We'll let the rose quartz in. Also, um, Epic, the uh, candle that I'm lighting for you is find joy in the little things. So I got four of these. Um, they're behind me. Look how much stuff, like candles. This whole thing as well, I, I just would like you to take a minute. This I organized on my stream break. I like literally had everything on the floor. There's pictures in the behind the scenes um, channel. And it was like chaos. And I actually got rid of six candles. Most of them had been used already though, um, like used up. One of them I got rid of because um, the smell gave me a headache and I was like, why am I keeping this? Um, so yeah, and then I just went through all my books and stuff and I got rid of some and I also put it, um, put some in my book box, put some upstairs, etc, etc. Halloween Helen, hello. How are you doing, my lovely? Oh my gosh, you have a Disney shirt. I do, I have Disney um, jumper on and I also have like semi like matching joggers as well. I feel very put together wearing like this. I don't know, like I'm still kind of like chill and like in like lounge wear kind of, but like I feel like I look more put together. No one ruined my dreams. <laughs> I'm so glad that I got to jump in before you signed off. Yes, I don't actually know where I'm going. What are you doing in my swamp? What are you doing in my swamp? Hey. Um, I love me. <laughs> Little me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's my cat. Hello, love. Oh my god. Bless her. You're right, lovely girl. She's not sure. She's not sure what she's doing right now. Thank you so much for the um, the sub. I'm sorry I got distracted by the what you're doing in my swamp. <laughs> I love that. I haven't heard that in so long. <laughs> I have missed that. Um, thank you so much for the sub. Um, 11 months. That's crazy. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Um, checking in as I sit down while the kids are having lunch. I hope everything is lovely and love you all. I love you guys. Um, how long have I been streaming for? Just one hour. That's not too bad. One hour, 46 minutes. That's, that's nice. I feel like it's gone quickly, but at the same time, it feels like I've, it's been ages, like in a good way ages. I'm like, oh, it's just been nice seeing everybody. Have you guys seen? I meant to show Steph this actually, and I think Steph's gone now, but that's okay. Um, have you guys seen this dragon? I'll show her um, 
Sunday when we do our podcast. Um, have you guys seen this little dragon? I got it from Morrison's. And this is my Valentine's Day present to myself. So soft, so cute, got little hearts on its like wings. Oh my goodness. Love, 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 love. Um, Cassie also really loves the dragon. I have no idea why. Like I literally bought it and then like brought it home and she was like headbutting it and like knocked it off there. And I was like, oh my God, like dribbled all over it. She she loves it. I don't know why, but she does. I mean, I love it too, but I don't know why she's like obsessed with it. Also, I have a um, behind me. Just, I need to move my hand in the right place. Here, just here. I have a dinosaur with, um with bunny ears and it's holding a little basket of eggs and it's for Easter. It's very cute. Kind of matches my um, stitch over here. Very cute. And obviously we have Halloween over here <laughs> with the boo and everything. We've got some, um, we've got all sorts of holidays today. <laughs> holidays everywhere. All the holidays. I just think they're cute. I love it. Oh, thank you, Helen. <laughs> so yeah, lots of fun things. <clears throat> oh. I don't know if I talked about the spirituality book. I did a bit, I think, because then I was saying about the oracle cards and stuff, but it says it's like connect to your inner self and the world around you. Join your sense of peace and happiness. Sorry, let's have a look. I also have one for anxiety. I have to go get dinner ready, but I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and thank you so much for the stream dinner. Thank you so much for coming, Lily. I hope you have a nice dinner. Maybe if you would like to, you can share what you are having because I love talking about food. <laughs> I love food. There's so many cool things. I honestly, I love TK Maxx um, because they have like amazing candles and then they also have amazing books. Also they have tarot cards now. It's kind of interesting. Huh. So spending time with animals can have a profoundly calming effect. Time with animals is often used to help rehabilitate people suffering from depression and nervous afflictions. Traveling, tearing at a local sanctu sanctuary. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is like, my throat is starting to hurt. Um, volunteering at a local sanctuary, taking a friend's dog on a long walk or striking a cat while it's sitting on your lap. It's almost impossible to feel anything other than peaceful contentment when you have a feline friend purring away on your knees. How cute is that? Oh, and there's this little quote that says, until one has loved an animal, a part of one's soul remains unawakened. <laughs> so it's like, go back to your roots and things like that. I'm making a Mediterranean dish, but I don't know what it's called. But it's basically some, with this flavor of rice with grilled chicken and some vegetables. That sounds lovely. That sounds, I really hope you enjoy it. So yeah, there's like some really nice things in here. <laughs> Kelly's so funny. Um, I'll just say what I wrote as well. Um, I just put, I've just taught the whole stream, haha, <laughs> because I have, I've not done it. 
<laughs> you work this whole stream, even though it says, um, let's get some work done. <laughs> what I should have put is, let's just chat the whole time. <laughs> Um, but it's been nice. Um, and then I said once I finally had my meeting. So my meeting was supposed to be at three, but for some reason, um, <laughs> my mentor didn't like respond to me until like 35 minutes past four or three. And I was like, um, hi. <laughs> um, so then unfortunately we overran because we ended up talking for 45 minutes about it, which was really helpful. Like, um, like I'm so glad I got to talk to her and stuff, but it's a bit annoying that, um, <clears throat> you know it was <laughs> it was not good but never mind um and then i said um yeah i've got a lot of pointers to help me write it and she said i was on the right track i just need to explain more and just by other things which is super helpful because like i wasn't sure i was even like doing it properly so <laughs> that's good um oh good daily working for that i was i have finished pretty much section two today in the quiet productivity with Justine earlier. I have been in the quiet productivity channel this whole time I've been on a streaming break with um, Lily, um, Justine, Kelly, I'm sure I'm missing somebody but I can't for the life of me think who. Um, but like just loads of friends in there. And it's been so nice. It's really helped me keep accountable. Not every day, some days I just don't get anything done the whole time I'm in there. And I feel really bad about myself. But um, you know, sometimes you really wanna get stuff done and um, it just doesn't let you like your brain just says no um but we have some really good talks in there about like how we're feeling or just uh, about how tough it is sometimes to get work done when you're tired all the time and stuff like that so it's, it's helpful even in like even if it's not in like getting work done it can be really helpful to just feel less alone i am forever so grateful <sighs> that every single person that has been in my discord um because like honestly you guys just make me feel less isolated and less alone and it's been really nice to have you guys there so thank you so much helen helen's been in there of course um it's been lovely as well my week off normally on my weeks off um what I used to do is like do extra streams, but it's just less pressure I, on my week off when I was in the quiet productivity chat. Unfortunately, I couldn't get much done because um, I had the painter here last week and I had to have the cat shut in with me all morning until like two and they just would not settle at all the whole week. And then by the time I could let them out again, um, it was time for me to get ready for the thing I had planned in the evening. So every single day I had something planned in the evening or the after, like, like late afternoon. But um, I had planned it so like I had the whole day to get stuff done and then the evening I had to do the other thing which was either like a meeting, the hygienist, or going out to eat with my friend, you know, that, that sort of thing. Um, so it was a bit like annoying <laughs> that I didn't get to do it in the end. But you know, maybe next next time will be better. And then this is due in, I suppose we eat due in Tuesday at lunchtime, but um, I'm working Tuesday lunchtime, so it will have to be Monday evening, but I'm having a meeting with my mentor at half seven on Monday, so we can go through everything that I hopefully, hopefully have got done at the weekend. I would really like to get things done, like get lots done tonight and get stuff done Saturday so I can just enjoy Sunday and maybe play some games. I kind of want to play Sims 3 again, I'm kind of like really feeling sims 3 at the moment i think it's because of the new um sims pack where they're it's like i can't remember what it's called now but it's basically like the um the generations pack really um and it's really made me feel nostalgic for sims 3 <laughs> so i don't know i haven't played sims 3 on this um pc yet so that will be interesting but we're not in a Mer Mercury retrograde, so hopefully it will be alright. Did you see the Mercury retrograde is starting on the 21st of April? Which is like so close to my birthday, so I'm gonna be 
in Mercury retrograde during my birthday. So I'm not I'm not loving it, I won't lie to you. But um yeah, it's just the way it is, I suppose. Can't have everything. Sometimes you have your birthday during a Mercury retrograde. Nothing you can do. Except for, you know, like time travel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even think time travel could help me from Mercury retrograde. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, Blaze has been in the um, Quiet Productivity as well with us before. So, so many good friends in here. Oh my goodness. It's been a very fun stream. I am just gonna take a really quick BRB to see what's happening with dinner and stuff to see when um, I need to finish stream and then I will come back. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming today. Um, and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Ha <laughs> I I muted my mic that time I was muted. Okay. Um so you can see both cats. This is Tyler. <laughs> you haven't seen him for a while. <laughs> Tyler. Tyler Milo. Hello. Hello. Hi, can I have some cuddles? Oh thank you. Never had but no. He's like, no, I'm done with you now. <laughs> 
But yeah, you got. I found um, a Tyler on my travels. So my mum said my dinner's going to be ready in like 25 minutes. Um, so about 10 to 7, we will um, probably go read um, Blaze because I haven't been on her streams for ages and I really like the vibes of um, Blaze's streams. And then I can go grab my dinner and then chill in her stream with her <laughs> and you guys. <laughs> um, Oh, Tyler's on the chair next to me. Let me. Hello. Oh, I don't know what's happened there. Hello. Hello, chicken nugget. Hello. Oh, he's so sweet. Kitties are so precious. I love them so much, Justine. I love them so much. Um, but I also don't love them no i'm joking i always love them they are very annoying though <laughs> i love them but i don't love being woken up at four o'clock in the morning for no reason what is the reason tyler what is the reason what is the reason he said i'm not talking to you <laughs> he literally was like I'm not talking to you so um go away <laughs> He's so rude to me. <laughs> Bless him. Hello. You're stuck with me for like, I don't know, 22 more minutes and then you can go. All right. He's not long. He's not long, little boy. Bless him. I feel like I haven't put my camera back the right way. Does that feel better? Was it like that? Maybe it's more high up. Like that? Maybe? I think this is okay. As long as my head's not like right up here and I'm not like, hello, down here, we should be fine. I did have it so that my camera could follow me, but it's not doing it on here. So I don't know. Oh, okay. I upset my camera for a second. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice being back and seeing everybody. Well, seeing everybody in chat, I should say. Because <laughs> you guys can see me, but I can't see you. Um, and Streamlabs is working again, so that's good. <laughs> it's not a stream if you don't have some technical difficulties, hey. <laughs> it's been really nice streaming though. I haven't even looked at um, the uh, follower, no, the viewer number or anything, which has been really nice because, as you guys know, last year um, I was really struggling with my mental health and streaming, and so it was really nice to um, to not have to deal with that. now so I feel like it's progress and I feel like I'm in a better place like mentally with with streaming again I think I'll be in a better place mentally in general when I can rest again and like take proper care of myself again I've just had a lot going on with like uni and work is like completely stressful at the moment and just I literally never get a second like even on my lunch break I don't even feel like I've had a full hour on my lunch because I'm just constantly being like asked to do something else or like my colleague just randomly like goes off to like have a cigarette or something even though he's already had his lunch break so then I've got to answer the door every five seconds it's just like oh. so I don't even feel like I get to rest <laughs> my lunch break and I get home and I'm like I need to get work done I need to get some uni work done you know I need to I have so much to do I need to get it done and then I just kind of struggle because I'm so tired and I've just like not had a minute at all and then um before I know it I'm so exhausted I'm like my eyes are closing and I'm like doing the head thing where you like jerk yourself awake and um and then I'm like oh I guess it's time for bed then and I'm just like it's just a cycle at the moment and I just I want to get off the ride for a bit <laughs> it's just yeah it's just like constant like round and round and round and round 
I am glad for the weekend though. I'm looking forward to the lunch. That'll be nice. And I'm really looking forward to um, um, the podcast. Hey! Hey, don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> it's my cat, so it's like being annoying today. Uh, bless them. But yeah, I am looking forward to um, having lunch tomorrow and talking to people and just being out out of the house which will be nice and I'm looking forward to Sunday we're recording the podcast and then we've got um like a little Galentine's um film night that we're doing as well which I'm really looking forward to I think that's going to be nice and chill and I'm looking forward to spending time with everybody in there and I just I love talking to Blaze um Stefan Braylon just um just in general they're just lovely people so um yeah i'm really looking forward to that as well I'm trying to remind myself that i have like loads of things to look forward to this weekend um and to not focus so much on the week because <laughs> it's not been great i think i've literally i can feel my throat getting worse the longer i talk um i think i've i've definitely run myself down this week um unfortunately and uh, i wasn't very well on Wednesday Thursday yesterday yesterday I wasn't very well yesterday because um as I've said Tyler laid on me in the morning and I felt like I've been hit by a bus <laughs> I was so achy it was ridiculous and I had a, um, a headache migraine it wasn't good um but I've got rid of that now so hopefully we'll get rid of whatever this um like sickness is working and being in uni can be a lot I'm glad you're looking after yourself thank you um yeah, I'm gonna try and be better this weekend. Then I wanna get that um, assignment in Monday. And once that's in, Tuesday, I'm just having the day off. Well, not, not from work, unfortunately, <laughs> but from uni, I'm just gonna have, and I'm gonna like maybe practice some like self, self-care, self self-love, you know, that kind of thing. I was thinking about streaming and playing games that day because Tuesday's my usual um, stream day. But I don't know, maybe I might just do a film night. I don't know, it depends what people want to do. If I stream, I'll play some games. If I do a movie night, then, well, then we'll watch movies. <laughs> that was, I don't know why I was like, if I stream, I'll play games. If we do a movie night, <laughs> I wonder what we'll do on the movie night. <laughs> maybe watch a film. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, watch a film would be nice. And maybe I'll have some ice cream. If my throat's still hurting, but then I'll, I'll be welcoming ice cream for sure. <laughs> For sure. BRB have to talk to my co-worker about her project. No worries. Enjoy your BRB, Justine. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been a bit of a time. I don't wanna I don't wanna be complaining in this stream though. Like I'm I'm in a, a lot better of a place than I was um the end of December. I've done so much growth um about with so many things the dentist phobia um just in general with my life i have a credit card now like who is she like she's making all these like grown-up choices um so yeah things are going in the right direction for me um it's going to be a bit harder next month i've got like the root canal treatment and the the fillings and stuff um and i think that's going to be a bit scarier for me um in the fact that like it's going to be obviously more more in depth and it's going to be obviously like a, a longer treatment but um i think i'm going to feel so much better for doing it and um i just keep thinking about little me and um i'm doing it for them and i'm also doing it for future me because you know doing these things now this year will be so much nicer and i want this year to be growth and health you know um, i want to get things done um and it's important and I'm like 25 this year, like I'm a quarter of a century old this year. I want to be making more like, not big decisions, but like I want to be having more growth. Last year I lost um, a couple of friends, like they're still alive, though. they're just not my friends anymore. Um, and I wish them well, but um, that was a lot of um, growth and healing from that to be in a place where I can be like, yeah, I'm thankful for the time that we had together, but um, but we just kind of are on different paths at the moment and different levels of self-growth, um, which is fine. I still wish them well in their lives and 
And I feel like getting to that point has been really helpful. I'm also in a whole new area of self-discovery of myself. Um, I'm on the wait list still for um, an ADHD diagnosis. And I've just put myself on the wait list, hopefully, for um, the autism one just to see and just to finally have a diagnosis or, you know, a, a more of a, like a yes or no thing and then I know. But I have also made so many new friends last year as well. And I feel like you have to lose some friends to open the door for new friends to come in. And I'm so grateful for all the friends I made last year. That's still my friends this year. I have a new in real life friend um, <laughs> who's so lovely and very, um, very sweet. But we also um, have good rants at lunchtime, which is very nice. I love, I love a friend that I can rant with. If, if we can't rant together or like have a little like vent, we can't be friends, like not true friends. You've got to be able to, you can't always be sunshine and rainbows every single day. Sometimes you're having a bad day and I'm always one of those people that is more than happy to listen to you if you're having a bad day. And validate your feelings. I literally came home today and I was so frustrated because so I finish at quarter past five on a Friday so I can get home and get some uni work done. And I was on the phone with somebody and it took ages. So I didn't actually get off the phone until like five minutes after I was supposed to leave. It is what it is. It happens sometimes, fine, whatever. Nobody was downstairs whatsoever. And I work in logistics, so someone has to be there to, to hear the doorbell, you know? So like in case a shipment comes or someone tries to collect something. So then I was like trying to find somebody to give the doorbell to, because we have like, we have two doorbells, one's fixed in the logistics area and one's in the canteen where you can move it around. So I, I picked it up and I went upstairs to find somebody and I was like, can I give this to you so I can leave please to my manager? And he was like, yeah, yeah, no worries. It was fine. It was just like, people know I finished at quarter past 12. Like, could someone just not be there so I could just leave? Cause like I'm well within my rights to just leave. Cause I don't, I'm not working now, but I don't because I have like a conscience. It's just like, so I was just having a bit of like a moan. It's not even like that deep. I was just annoyed about it at the time. And for me, if I'm annoyed about something, like really annoyed about something, I just need to like vent and then I feel better, you know? Like just get it off your chest and I'm like, oh God, okay, I can be a bit more human now, <laughs> you know? And then my mum was like, oh, welcome to the working world. And I was like, well, like what? What kind of like, what, <laughs> what kind of like response is that? And I literally talked to her afterwards and I was like, look, I understand that like the working world, you know, people aren't always gonna be nice and whatever, but it would be really nice if you could just validate my feelings and just say, that's really annoying. Or, you know, sounds like you've had a bad day or, you know, I'm sorry to hear that, you know, just anything. I was like, I was just like, are you serious? I was like, what would you want? If I was saying to her, literally, if she complained about the same things and I said to her, welcome to the working world. I was like, that would make you feel like shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, it would genuinely make you feel like shit. That's it. it would just be a bit nicer if you could just say like, you know, something to validate my feelings. And to be fair, she was like, yeah, no, fair enough. <laughs> Which was nice. It was nice to, to have that conversation. So I wasn't annoyed about that as well. <laughs> I don't need to be annoyed about loads of things. I, I do actually like not being annoyed, funnily enough. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often, but you know, it would be nice. Oh my God. That was so weird. My whole webcam went weird. We're just gonna like pretend that didn't happen, okay? <laughs> Cassie's like, looked away. She's like, yep, nothing happened. <laughs> I saw nothing. <laughs> But yeah, it's been nice. And thanks to you everyone for having such a nice um, stream today. It's been really nice. I think I've got like nine minutes before my dinner, but that doesn't mean I have to be streaming for nine minutes. I can I can leave now, to be fair. <laughs> I totally didn't see the screen so it glitched for a second. <laughs> that was so weird, wasn't it? Like, oh my God. Um, but yeah, like we don't have to keep streaming for like another nine minutes. We can just like chill and, and raid blaze and just calmly like be in there for a bit. 
So I think that's what we'll do. So, um, it's been a while since I've done this. I wonder if the raid messages will work. What is my sub raid one? Okay, they just do work. I was like, do they just work? <laughs> they do. <laughs> Perfect. Um, sorry about that. Have I got it too? Okay, so the, uh, the, the raid message is that one. No, sorry, the sub raid message is that one and uh, with the purple dinosaurs. Um, and the uh, raid message, the normal one is the one with the purple hearts. I feel like I said it wrong. I feel like that was not how I normally say it. Um, if you're not subscribed to me, please copy the raid message with the purple hearts. And if you are sub to me, please copy the raid message with the purple dinosaurs. What purple dinosaurs? These purple dinosaurs. There we go. We've got it back. <laughs> we got it back. Um, so great to see you, ma'am. Oh, thank you, Steph. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, thank you, Fox, as well. Thanks for the fun stream. You're so welcome. Thank you for the stream. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, everyone, for coming. And thank you for the... the Hype two, um, no, the level two hype train. There we go. <laughs> I almost said level train. <laughs> um, thank you for the uh, level two hype train. I really appreciate that. That was so kind of you. <laughs> that was so funny. I literally like started um, stream and then was like, okay, I'm gonna quickly go to the loo. And then when I came back, I was like, oh my god, hype train, crazy. Um, you missed the hype train. It's okay, just see. <laughs> It was just, um, it was just a funny, um, a, a, a funny surprise when I came back. I was like, oh, okay, I'll, put, I'll go back to just chatting and then bah! <laughs> Lots of fun. Also, um, for anyone who isn't sub to me, um, just because it's been missed, I think, um, please just uh, copy the road message with the purple hearts. We love purple here though, so it's perfect. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. I think we're gonna raid Blaze, who is Ray's Cave. Which will be fun. I'm looking forward to it anyway. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for coming in. Um, thank you for being nice and chill. And I appreciate the good vibes. Um, I was very nervous to stream today. And almost cancelled. <laughs> Luckily, Kelly gave me a bit of a, like, a talk down because my brain was being very mean. <laughs> um... So yeah, we're, we're here. Uh, we can thank Kelly for the fact that I'm here. <laughs> and I didn't psych myself out. <laughs> it's very hard when, you, um, when you're when you on a stream break, if you go for too long, it's very hard to get like psych yourself up to press that go live button. It's, it's a very weird, um, weird place to be. Um, but thank you for making the stream so nice. I've realized I forgot to drop my merch as well today. So we'll do that next week. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I am cancelling tomorrow's stream um, because I just don't want it to be a rush. I want to be able to enjoy my lunch with um, my family and not be like, oh, I've got to get back. Um, and instead I can just come back and join um, my lovely friend's streams instead. Um, thank you for the exclamation mark um, merch, um, Fox. I do have some really cool merch in there at the moment. I need to release my new merch though. Um, it was supposed to be released in January but I will be releasing it in February. So um, I will be doing that soon, hopefully. Anyway, I will see you guys later and I'm sending you guys all the love.